this is Greg Rakestraw, and you're watching the UND Experience. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Tell us how the season's been going for you so far. Actually, it's been wonderful. The girls came in great shape during the preseason, and then we, of course, like I always do, I throw them into the wolves. But that, that's what you do every year because you have gotten your program where you expect to be a top 25 team and a team that makes it deep into the postseason. So. You, you, your program is to that point where you do that every year. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's the only way to um, get your kids ready for postseason or even getting into conference play. I think it's uh, they respond well to it, and you got to get them used to pressure situations, and uh, and that's what's been great with our program. We've done that uh, the last five years. We've gone out a heavy schedule in the beginning, and then hopefully that helps out in the postseason. Tell me about your seniors this year. Um, great leadership. Uh, Christina Kerrigan, um, Courtney Crawford, and uh, Amy Oldenburg doing a great job at just leading the team to where we need to be at. And not even just on the court, but off the court as well. Um, just great girls with great character, and they're providing my team with a whole bunch of leadership, and, and that's going to help us out in the end of the season. I know the bar is, is very high for your program. You set it there every year. Conference championship, regional championship, make it yeah. to the finals in Division II volleyball. Have those goals changed at all this year? No, and uh, these three seniors have been on the team when we went 38-2 um, and two and went to the Elite Eight. So they've been uh, focused this whole four years ready to go out with a bang, and they want to do it. They want to win conference and regional and go on to the Elite Eight to get in the opportunity to win a championship and host up that big trophy. Just tell us what uh, the start of this season against outstanding Division II competition. What's been your takeaway from it so far? I mean, my takeaway has been great. I mean, our team's doing really well. I mean, we're 6-2 and two right now, and it's great because we beat the number two team, Tampa. I mean, things are looking good for us right now. Beat the number two team in the country. I think you're doing yeah. pretty good. And again, you and, and your fellow seniors, you know what it's like to get to that Elite Eight level of, of, of Division II volleyball. Do you think you've got it in the cards in this team to get back there again? Absolutely. I, we have a really strong offense this year. We're also, our passing is getting better and better each practice. And those are the two things that our team's really relying on right now, and I think it can take us there. Tell us about, since you are a senior now, tell us about how things are going in the classroom for you. They're going well. My major's marketing. Um, I'm looking to graduate this May, so I'm on track, which is always great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and what are you hoping to do with that marketing degree once you graduate? I'm hoping to get a job. That's what the number one thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, so I still have a little bit of time to think on it. But just looking to graduate with something is my biggest goal right now. I mean, can you believe this is your senior year already at UN? No, but I'm really glad it is. I feel like I've been here for a while. <laughs> so it's time to move on to the next step. What yes. is that next step going to be for you? Um, That's a good question. I would like to work with children. I have a psychology minor, er, major with um, a minor in child and youth programming. So working with kids would be my ideal. Uh, tell us your thoughts about uh, how the season has gone for you and your teammates so far. Um, I think it's gone really well. We have a lot of depth on the team. We've worked hard during preseason, and we worked hard this summer to get where we are now. So I see nothing but great things for us this season. With having a lot of depth, does that make practice even that much more competitive when you've got people fighting for playing time every practice? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting at practice how crazy we get because we're so excited and eager to play and just being competitive. <laughs> Maybe even off the court. How has UND been the right place for you? Um, school, the classroom sizes are really small, so yep. it's helped me a lot. And tell us about what the major is for you here at UND. Um, actually, I just switched my major to physical education to general studies. Okay. So I can graduate in May. What's going to make this year a good year for you from a volleyball standpoint? Um, winning the national championship, hosting the regionals, winning conference. You gotta love when the bar is set low like that. <laughs> yes. Win the national championship. 
As always, thanks to the great folks at Donato's for hosting us for the UND experience located on the corner of Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Of course, you can watch these features as many times as you'd like by going to the official athletic website, the University of Indianapolis, athletics.und.edu, where you can follow all 21 UND's intercollegiate athletics programs. 